Uh, I think I'm going to start with Luke 7 just to, um, and uh, I'm going to try and read some, I want to read something I read the other, the other uh, day that my video got stuck on Wifey's picture for some reason. I wasn't even on the app, really. I wasn't really on the app unless I was um, looking for a cross-reference. Uh, whatever I was talking about on the video, it's on my Facebook. I didn't put it on YouTube. But whatever I was, whatever I was reading and speaking about, that's what my screen was on. And for some reason, it got uh, stuck on Facebook and newsfeed. And it was like an hour. It was like an hour and forty minute video. And so <laughs> I had a. Uh, it operated for forty minutes or so, and then for the last hour. It was stuck on wifey's picture, and so um, it happens. I guess it happens. But so I'm gonna try this, and I'm going to basically. Uh, usually, I get into like the spirit of things, as to what is God is saying right now. Um, but God said this the other day, like two days ago, and so let's just say it again, and let's just make sure that we are. Um, we are saying yes to God. We're saying yes to God, and God brings us good news. Uh, the Bible is good news. Um, the Bible is talks about Jesus. It prophesies about the the Savior of God. The Moshiach was to come. Isaiah nine six. The Son of God was born in two thousand years ago in Bethlehem, and he was crucified uh, yeah, around Jerusalem. And on Easter Sunday, two thousand years ago, uh, not Easter Sunday, he resurrected. On Passover, on Passover, he was he was slain as the Lamb of God, and he resurrected on Easter, uh, Sunday, on the third day. And so, he 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 fulfills. This is the point. The point is this: Jesus fulfills the Passover Lamb, the blameless Lamb of God, as he told Moses to put the blood of the Lamb on the doors. Okay, so here's Adam on Doro Duran operating the Ezekiel covenant, the everlasting covenant of Ezekiel 37 26, and the New Testament, Beri Hadasha, New Covenant, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, as Paul the Apostle. And so we're in the Gospel of Jesus Christ of 2,000 years ago, the real Savior, God the Son, who was born of a Virgin Mary. Okay, and nobody else fulfill, fulfills this. And so Luke 7, this is 2,000 years old, about him who was 2,000 years ago. Okay, This is about the real Jesus. If anyone doesn't believe in Jesus of the Bible of 2,000 years ago, who was born of the Virgin Mary, that's their choice. Everyone has their choice as to what they're going to believe or what they're not going to believe. Me, I have my choice. And um, if anyone has questions, that's, that's awesome. But... Um, but, uh, but, if you have a question, that's, that's, that's good, but that's as far as it's going to go. Um, I'm not, I'm not recruitable, I'm not teachable, and I, only Jesus, Rabbi, Rabbi Yeshua, or Rabbi Yeshua, the Rabbi Jesus, he's teacher, he's Rabbi, he's father, he's my prophet, he's my anointing one, he's the one who, he, he's the one who chose me, called me, anointed me. He's the one who teaches me um, or corrects me or whatever needs to be said. I get it from God. I don't need uh, anyone to direct me. Um, questions, reasoning things. There's no, there's no problem with, there's no problem with uh, questioning or reasoning. And as the Bible says, to reason together. Um, that's one thing. But as far as someone to lead us astray away from Jesus no it's not gonna happen and we're going to Jesus we're not going away from Jesus okay even Mormons and in Israel and Araba Muslim and Maor Maona Yahweh's Adas Jehovah's Witnesses Mormon Catholic Roman Italy Israel Araba Africa Mainasha North America South America Australia Europe Asia Antarctica everywhere around the world Ashalam Alaikum Beta Kalyan Shalom Yeshua and I I put everyone in the covenant of everyone who trusts in God. Everyone who trusts in Jesus of the Bible of two thousand years ago, who ascended in Acts chapter one and gave us the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter two, 
this is the Jesus we serve. He's not here. He's coming. He's coming with Jehovah. All God is coming in from the north with a fiery fireball storm. It's going to it's going to look like it's going to consume the whole world. Okay? But it's going to stop. And it's going to stop. It's going to be as the movie says, the fire in the sky movie. It's going to stay there. We're going to go into the fire. We're going to bow down and worship God first. We're going to translate into a glorified body. We'll be taken as Elijah and Enoch. Okay, we will ascend into into God's fire. Those who are against this will stay behind. We who are waiting for Moshiach, Savior Elohim, we will go. And as we go and the unbelievers and God haters stay, they will blaspheme us and they will say that we all went to hell. And look at they went into the fire. They're going to blaspheme us. They're going to blaspheme God more. And then that's where the trouble starts. That's where the trouble of Jacob Yisrael starts for Beit Meri, for unbelievers. And that's where the tribulation of the church starts, of those left behind, okay, in the same lands of the earth. And all the trouble and plagues and curses will be poured out upon them because they still reject the Son of God, God the Son. Okay. And the whole point of Revelation's plagues, the whole point of the plagues, the whole point of the hailstones, the whole point of this is to repent their hearts. Is to make them bow down to Jesus, the real one. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, Jesus is Lord. And Jesus, the real Jesus of this Bible, 2,000 years ago, born in the Virgin Mary in Israel, Bethlehem. This is, okay, so that's the, um, everyone's invited. There's no judgment yet. Everyone's invited, but not liars. Liars can't go. Okay, um, as far as false gods, false preachers, false teachers, okay. And the false, you know, those claiming to be gods and kings and gods and liars, conspirators, con those, those in those in secret places who conspire against the the population, they conspire against the masses, as to mislead them to fake Jesus. Okay, they can't go. Okay, and all those, all those of their, their powers, everyone who's joined. Who's you know, and so God bless God's daughters. God bless, God bless Israel. God bless Araba. God bless Mormon seeking God, and He's the one and only true God. God bless Jehovah's Witnesses seeking Jehovah. Jesus is Jehovah, and Jehovah is Jesus. And God bless Catholic. Jesus is God. God bless Muslim. Yeshua is Allah, and He's a Muslim man of peace who restores us. In Beraka Leon Shalom Yeshua Al Shalom Alaikum Shabbat Shalom Yeshua Hadon Adonai In Yehovah 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 Sikinu Yeshua Moshiach Kowalinu Allah In Ruach HaKodesh Elohinu And so as we were talking about that the more the more you take in the word the more it changes you and the more the more it's not just food but it's power the word of God is going to change you, and bless, many are the promises for them who says yes, and my, amen. The amen, the faithful God is with them. Many are the promises for us who say yes to God, and we go from glory to glory to glory. There's nothing but glories for us. We are in obedience to God's word. Okay. So, in other words, that's called true faith. True faith is when you say yes, Lord. Right? You guys know what faith is? Faith. True faith. You say, when God speaks the word, you say, yes, Lord. So you're supposed to hold out your hands like this. God gives you a word. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So this is a word in Luke 7. This is more word. So let's receive the word and say, yes, Lord. I take it. Okay. So and Jesus says, um, and the messengers of John departed, and he began speaking to the crowds. And about his cousin John the Baptist and he says what have you gone out into the wilderness to see a reed a rod shaken by the wind what did you expect to see did you expect to see a weak person 
אדם יוחנן יתבו, אתם קווה, אתם חפץ, תחפוץ, תראה, אין, אריד שקן, אריד שקן, אין חטאת, אין, שבית מלטת, did you expect to see, when you, when they saw John the Baptist, did they expect to see a weak person? No. He rebuked Pharisees or Sadducees, he rebuked anyone who was leading the people astray. He was not a shaken reed by the winds or the waves. He was not, he was not led by the mob. John the Baptist was led by the Holy Spirit since the womb of, of Eliashua Bet. John the Baptist was in the wilderness. Jesus was in the wilderness. Okay. And Jesus came when he was trying to get baptized with more Holy Spirit. John the Baptist was rebuking. He says, what do you expect to see? A weak reed shaken by people? No. But you have gone out to see a man arrayed in fine clothing. Behold, those in splendid clothing living in luxury in high place. And no offense to rich people. But um, we're just talking about spiritual at this, at this point. Okay. But what have you gone out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, a more excellent than a prophet. More than a prophet was John the Baptist. He was more than a prophet. He was a Baptist. He gave Jesus holy, more Holy Spirit. This is he concerning whom it has been written. Behold, I will send forth my messenger, my ambassador, before you, and who will prepare a way for you. So he prepares you to go into the way, and that's what we're doing. We're preparing your heart, mind, and soul so that when you see God coming in the Eshtat, in the Katan, in Gado, 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 Sa'ara, Bisafon, Yabo, Bikabora, Nanesh, Gado, and then Shachacha Yeshua, Yehovah, and it's time to bow down. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu, please don't kill me. Have mercy on me. Please don't kill me, your holy, righteous God. It's going to be very scary. Okay. And so God says, what do you expect to see? Adam Yochanon Yitbo, Chatat. In Shebet Matit Laka Kosh Ko et Yahuda Yahudim Araba Ishmael in Ko Ibrim in Abraham Yalad Ad Besera Abraham Yeshua Hamashiach mean mean Erechem Mariam Betula Hakma Mariam Rechem Betula Hakma Bebeten Yeshua Yalad a Yeled Lanu Yeshua nine six Ki Adam Yosef Dor for the generation of Joseph to be gathered, Aluma Hakima. Aluma Hakima, this is a great generation. This is a great Aluma Chitim Chit, Chit, Zahab. This is a this is a golden era. This is a this is a, a generation of golden wheat. This is a golden wheat to be gathered in the sheaf of Adam Yosef Duran. This is a very exalted people by God chosen. This generation is chosen. This generation is exalted by God. I am Nabi Yeremia Yeshayel Yarum Yeshayel Ad Yerusha Shem Chadasha Araba Ko Ibri Min Abraham Yalad Ad Ura Hakodesh Shera Yeshua Mashiach Bashem Yehovah Sikenu. Born again, this generation born again is to go. Born again in the seat. Yeshua, no knocking, nothing. Stop knocking. Okay. And what did you expect to see? And he says, okay, so uh, so in the words of Jesus, this is this is uh, Yeshua, he's he's speaking again. He's speaking right now, he's saying, uh, when I send forth when I send forth a person don't expect to see a weak person. When Jesus sends forth Mebasheto and Sholiach, in Yeshua Hamoshiach Sholiach, Bone, in Bone, Malak, in Kahal, Talmi Sheba Adama. So he says, that's what he says. He says, he sends, he sends, 
somebody who's going to deliver the message. He's not going to send somebody who's going to not give the message. In Benadan Dorom Hater Nabi, Amelika Keen, in Yechesikil 3, is Sope Zohar, in Yechesikil Nabi, Melek Yechesikia, Yehuda, Ese Echad, Adam Echad Duran, is the same person, Sholiach, Min Yeshua Moshiach, El Heno, and Keshamid, Keshamid, Misur, Keshamid, in Adam and Stone, Sur, in case Misur, Okay, um, Ezekiel 3 9, Ben Adam, Adam and Stone. The Adam and Stone for the son is a diamond forehead. He's diamond, he's hard headed because he has to be hard headed and he has to make sure Israel gets the message. Okay, and yeah, there's a Beit Meri and there's a Beit Meri down here, a Yeshayel Beit Meri and Lo Lishma Yahweh Yeshua and in the earth. Okay, in the call out of sort out it's and there's a bait medi, there's people who don't listen. Okay. Okay, so in God says Keshamir Hasak Yechesik Nabi Ben Adam Darom Hatev Nabi Keshamir Hasak Miso Natati Mish Mitheka Elo Tire Atam Ewelo Tahat Mi penehem, mi penehem goim o yebim elhim, ki beit meri hema beit meri. It's a house of rebellion going on, okay? Okay, so let's get back to Luke. In ma asher, in mi asher atim tachpot tiye tire in beamid bar hayom biacharit hayamim in chatat chatat shebet. Hatash a bit, uh, to and from Mesolite, back and forth. And let's see. I'm gonna go with this word here, and then nope, nope, uh, nope, a uh, uh, nope, shebet, nope, be ruach. Okay, and so he says, he says, nope. And did you did you expect to see what did you expect to see in the days of the wilderness that God was going to send you uh, God was going to send you someone to not give the message well he gave the message so he did his job okay so it's already he already did the job right nice sir. So I did the I did the job. I gave the message, and um, we're basically just going over the message. We're maintaining the me we're maintaining the mindset. So the message is delivered, and we're maintaining the mindset to make sure maintaining the church because you I mean you can, we're not gonna just let he's not gonna just let the church just like this. The church has to be maintained. The church has to be preached to. You have to go to church. You have to go to church at least two times a week. You gotta go to church. What is it? Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You gotta. You got. You gotta have church every day. He's. You're not gonna just get saved and that's it. There's gonna be maintenance. There's going to be uh, continuing feeding, watering the flocks. And so there's going to be a continuing of the word of God. Okay. And so this is, even though the message is given, the souls, okay, so the message is given, but the souls has to be watered. Okay. And what happens if it doesn't, what happens, what happens if the, so then that's the shepherd. The shepherd has to feed the flocks. Okay. So um, that's, that's by definition. By definition, every day or how many times a day the shepherd has to go and lead the sheep out to pasture. They have to lead them to the waters. 
and the sheep have to drink water and, and, and graze or whatever they eat and they have to pasture the sheep and so every day that's what the shepherd does so he's not going to just he's not god is not going to just save you and then just leave you abandon you or allow them to snatch you back right but no he's going to grow you god's going to grow you god's going to keep growing so it's it's going to take a stick it's going to take a reed it's going to take the shebet the adam with the shebet mate the one with the tribes of israel he takes it and he leads the sheep he takes all the flocks of Israel, Araba, he takes everybody, and he continues the ministry. Okay. Okay, so he says, What what else would you expect to see amongst the shepherd but he who's gonna shepherd? Well you think he's gonna not take the sheep because there's wind? Okay. He's not gonna take it because he's cold outside, or he's not gonna feed him because it's hot. No, he's going to feed the flocks. And it's cold and it's hot. And when it's windy, he's going to feed the sheep. So you're not going to see, you're not going to see that dictate. You're not going to see that dictate. But you're going to see the word of God being preached. Now, but what have you gone out to see? A man arrayed in fine clothing? Did, did, I, did you see me come out? With the finest apparel? No. Nope. Behold, those in the splendid clothing, living in luxury, are in the palaces. But he was in the wilderness. John the Baptist was in the wilderness. He wasn't in the palaces. Okay. So what have you? So this is propheticness of the king. This is propheticness that the king was a poor guy. Cinderella, the Cinderella, and he's actually. The king is actually poor. He's not rich, and he marries rich queens. As it says in, um, he actually lives in a tree. <laughs> Isaiah thirty, Isaiah ten thirty three, and he gets the highest stature of women. Remember Isaiah ten thirty three and thirty four. He plows through the thorns and the thickets, and in the in the armor of God, and he takes, he takes him from the beast and Adonai, takes him. Uh, Isaiah, quiet. Isaiah ten thirty three and thirty four. He uh, now Adonai Yehovah Sebaot misaped from the tree the bow. He comes down with force. He's awakened. He's not an old. He's not an old. He's not a king of the beast. He's he's someone brand new. He's awakened. He jumps out the tree like Back to the Future. Like Back to the Future. Remember he he almost got hit by the car. Okay. Anyways. Uh, he takes those of highest stature. He takes Kima. He takes the highest, highest, highest daughters. He he takes the highest daughters in the world to God. Okay. He cuts through the thickets and thorns and the foresters. Spiritually speaking, he, no Satanist has authority over him. Okay. No Satanists have authority. He takes Kima. He takes Kardashian Jenners. He takes um, all God's presidents. Uh, he takes the highest, highest. He takes the highest daughters in the world. Be Adid, he's mighty one. Ye pull Nephilim, he brings down the Nephilim. He takes Labanos, Adonai, Adonai Dilladon, Isaiah sixty one one. Okay, he takes them to heaven. Okay. Okay, let's keep it moving. What did you expect to see? You expect to see someone to sell out their soul? Did you expect to see someone... Did you expect to see a king who sold his soul to the devil? No, of course not, says Jesus in red letters. What did you go out to see? A man from the wilderness. A man who's poor. A man from the tree. A man of the holy tree. A man from the root of Yeshua. Isaiah 11.1 1. And he has... He's the rod. He's the rod from Jesse. He's the youngest son of Jesse, Adam Dilan. He's from the roots of Yeshua, Mishorasha Yeshua HaMashiach. My dad, as King David says, as Jesus says, and as I say, my dad is Jesus Jehovah. I'm born again. Do not call no one in the earth your father. Don't call anyone on earth your father. Jesus Jehovah is our dad. You know, okay, you know that verse? Do not call anyone rabbi. 
Do not call anyone father. Matthew 23, 9. Call no one your father on earth, because the one true God is your father in heaven. Elohim, Yehovah Yeshua, Yudah HaKodesh is father. Okay, so don't listen to, you don't have to obey your parents if they're wicked. You obey the Bible. Luke 14 confirms. Let's open it so you can see the letters of Jesus of 2,000 years ago. Okay, don't obey no fake gods. Don't obey no fake Jesus here. Don't obey wicked parents that are leading you to wickedness. Don't obey them. Call no one rabbi because our teachers is Yeshua. And we are brothers. Call no one on earth your father. Our father is heavenly father in heaven. Those who exalted themselves to be gods will be humbled. Those who exalted themselves over us will be humbled and brought down by God. Okay, And whoever humbled himself, us, will be exalted. That's why it says here in verse verse 34. Be Adim, be Adam Dunan, the mighty one who brings salvation. He brings down the Nephilim. He cuts through the thickets. He cut through the thorns, he cut through the needles and pricks of smelters in the Barzel Aloha, in the helmet of salvation, in uh, the belt of truth and the armor of God. And he takes Laban's daughters, he takes the daughters of God and the children of Israel. Adam Dudon takes it and he brought down Nephilim, spiritually speaking. Yeah, you still see them, yeah, they're still oppressing the world, yes. But spiritually speaking, Jesus said, be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Okay. So let's go look at that. Be of good cheer. Okay. Be of good cheer. Because. He says, immediately he spoke to them and says, Take courage, fear not. Mark 6.50 He says, Matthew 14.27 Immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, Take courage and fear not. For this one, John 16 33, it didn't come. Red letters, John 16 33. Red letters, okay. I have spoken to you these things so that you might not fall away. They will put you out, they may kick you out of the churches if you don't take the mark of the beast, like myself. But in hours coming, that everyone who kills Christians they think they offer a service to God. They will do these things because they do not know the Father. If they do evil to Christians, it's because they don't know God. But I have said these things to you so that when the hour comes, that you will remember that I told you in advance. Now I did not say, and now did I, did I did not say these things to you from the beginning because, uh, well, because I was with you. Uh, But he said he went away. He sent us the Holy Spirit. Because I have said these things to you. Um, never mind, skip that. Let's go to... Um, Thirteen. But when he, the Holy Spirit of truth, shall come... 
he will guide us into all the truth of God. For he does not speak from himself, and whatever he may hear, he will speak it. He will declare to you the things coming. He will speak to you the words. He will glorify me and bring me the glory. For he will take uh, from that which is mine and will disclose it to you. And I take from him and then I give it to you. I'll tell you what it is. All the words, everything that Father has, and all the, every one that the Father has are also mine. The flocks, because of this, I said that he will take from that which is mine and I will disclose it. Okay, uh, he's talking about flocks, he's talking about words. And in a little while you behold me no longer. Okay, he left. And going to verse. And he, he says in verse 33, Jesus says in John 16, 33, Behold, uh, I have spoken these words to you, so that in me you will have peace, shalom, and beta kalion, and Yeshua Chaya. You'll have me uh, in him peace, in life, salvation, and you will have um, restoration. And in this world, you may have trouble and tribulation, but take courage and be of good cheer because uh, we already overcame the world. In other words, he's saying, we're waiting for, on God. We're champions already. So, when the enemy speaks, when the enemy speaks or displays lies on the internet, what do we say? Uh, we overcame already, we're just waiting. The enemy speaks lies of images, okay? But we already overcame, we're just waiting on God. Okay. This this is this is what it says. Let's just get it in, okay? John 16, 33 red letters. And let's just go through the list of Bibles. I have told you these words so that in me you may have peace. In this world you'll have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. I have told you all this so that you may have peace. In me, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. I have uh, said these things to you, that in me, you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. I have told you these things, so that in me, you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. I have spoken these words to you so that in me you will have peace and life and happiness and salvation. In this world, they only give you trouble and tribulation, but be of good courage. I overcame the world. These things I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace, life, and salvation. In the world you're going to have trouble and tribulation, but be of good cheer, and we have already overcome the world. And these things, these words I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace and salvation, happiness and life everlasting. In this world you will have trouble and tribulation, but take courage, be happy and blessed, because we have already overcome the world. We're only waiting on God. This is the facts every day. John 16, 33. This is the fact. This is the truth every single day. The gospel. Now let's go look at the red letters. Okay, we look at the red letters of Jesus, the Messiah of 2,000 years ago. He who was crucified on Passover, on a Roman crucifix, the four horns of God's altar, as the Zebach al Mizbiach Shene'et, Melech Yahudim, in Ben Elohim. And he was crucified, and he was buried in a rich man's tomb. And he resurrected on the third day. Red letters of him. He says. In the last verse. I spoken these things to you. These words. So that in me and with me. You shall still have your peace. Your life. Everlasting salvation. And happiness in heaven. Because while you're still stuck in this world. Waiting for me. Just take courage. Be happy and blessed because the world is overcome and conquered. Let's go. 
the world is conquered. It's this whole world of trouble and tribulation. It's a wrap. Yeah, we're waiting. We're in a waiting room of victory. Yes, we're waiting on God. We're waiting for deliverance. But we already been delivered, spiritually speaking. It's done. We're just waiting for it. It's done. The beast is going to cry. They're going to make noise. They're going to wah, wah, wah. They're going to uh, worship the images. They're going to promote images. And they're going to put big letters and memes. They're going to lie to the whole world. They're going to lie to themselves. They're going to live a delusional life. As Second Thessalonians says, it's going to be one big fat delusion. It doesn't matter. The world is conquered. The beast is conquered. Satan has no power. Luke 10, 19 we tread over, spiritually speaking. We crush the heads of snakes and scorpions. Nothing shall by any means snatch our souls. Okay. I spoke these words to you so that with me you will keep your peace, your salvation, and your everlasting life in the heavens. You will have, uh, you may have tribulation and troubles here in this world. But take courage, be of good cheer, happy and blessed forever, because we have already overcome this world. They speak lies. Okay. They speak lies. We're not we're not going with them nowhere. We're not staying here. We're going to the kingdom. They speak lies. Noises. Okay. They speak lies and they promote lies. It's not reality. Okay. John sixteen. Uh, so, what did you expect to see in the coming out of the wilderness? A reed, a rod shaken by the winds or the weather or the people? No. And did you see a man in rich clothing? No. He just came with the gospel. He came with the power of the Holy Spirit to baptize. And he did not come in splendid clothing or living in the luxuries. He came, he came as a sufficient man of riches of heaven. He did not come... In richness of the earth, no offense, we're talking about myself and the prophet, king, baptist, and priest. And but, and what have you gone out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, he's not just a prophet, he's a priest and a king. Ad me ad nabi kohen melek adam ondoro duran melek shalom yeshua. This is he in Allah. Ella, Allah, and Asher Katab, be Ketubim, and Hine, Ani Eshlach, and Malaki, Kadam, Lepanikim, and Meleka Kin, Yechesiko Nabi Mek Beraka Bika, and Meleka Kin, Darak, and Darkeka, and Kadam. Lepanika Bimakot Elohim Bashamayim. Behold, I send you my messenger. I send you my ambassador, Kadam of ancient times. I send him from my face to your face. From me to you, I send you this guy. The king, the priest, the prophet, he's beyond the prophet. He's beyond the prophet. He prepares the way for you to go into the kingdom of God in the heavens. Okay, let's go. Um, oh, yeah, down here. And the people heard this, sinners, okay, sinners. Uh, when they say tax collectors, they're, they're seeing sinners, okay. Uh, so let's, let's say that. So there were... All the people there, they heard Jesus say this. There, there were sinners there. Okay, and God declares righteous the sinners. And those who came to be baptized with the baptist of John or Yohanan and here Adam Yohanan Yitbol Duran and Bashem Yeshua Hamashiach, I baptize you in the presence of God in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach salvation. I baptize you in my Chaim life. Dam Yeshua Moshiach, Mashach Deleteka Beiteka Elohim. I put the blood of Jesus on your doors. You're a temple of God. I give you the Ruach Hakodesh, Ruach Karsho. 
I put you in the Berito Alam with Ador Ador Shalom Yeshua. I katab b'seper chaya. I write your name in the book of life in Ektab be Adama Chadasha and in the new earth. I write your name in the book of life and the new earth. I baptize you in the name of the, um, Yahweh, 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 Sikinu, Ha'ab, Yeshua, Hamoshiach, and Goelinu, Ha'ben, and Ruha Kodesh, Eloheinu, Hashem. Adam, Yochanun, Yitbo, Dirudan. I baptize mankind. Besheba, Adama, Kachal. Melech Adonai, Darom, Shalom, Yeshua, and Kohelet. Sheba Adama, Sheba Kahal. The whole earth, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yehovah of love, our, our righteous God, Yeshua Mashiach, our Redeemer, the Son of God, the God the Son, and in the name and in the name of God the Holy Spirit, in the power of the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in the Holy Spirit. Just receive it. Take it, yes, can amen, yes, amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. You're baptized in the Holy Spirit. You're ready for God. Okay. Um in Lo or Lo or Hataim a we are Adam Melekakin Adonai Dirudan Melek Shalom Shua Ekra in Shemeka Sarakim Karashim Sarakim Karashim righteous holy, righteous and vindicated. You're no longer sinners. You're not sinners no more. If you tell a lie, you're still not a sinner. If you steal, you're still not a sinner. Okay? That's how this works. Yalad ad. Adam noach yaledu lahem benot Elohim bat Elohim Yisrael ad ko ibrim yishma araba. Sera noach harminia kadashi sarakim Kadashim Adonai Duridan Melek Shalom Yeshua Ekra Shemeka Sarakim Kadashim Lo Od Chataim You're no longer sinners. You're born again. That's how it works. You're no longer sinners. You're born again. If you and we don't say, as Paul says, and don't slander us. Don't slander us. And don't slander, don't slander, don't slander and say, uh, as he said, Paul says, I didn't tell you to go do that. <laughs> I didn't tell you to go do that. I didn't say that. That's, don't slander us. We didn't say that. I said, for those who are born again are born again. We didn't, we didn't send, we send out disciples. We don't send out thieves. We send out disciples. We don't send out liars. You see what I'm saying? As Paul says, some slandered him. They said that they can go and live and run amok because of graces and forgiveness. No, you can't. You got to do your best. And you got to keep receiving the word of God. You got to keep praising the real Jesus. You got to keep praising the real Jesus. Okay. Uh, so. And um, so and you're not you're not called sinners no more. You're called righteous, holy, vindicated. You're called sons of God. You're called daughters of God. You have returned home. This is what John the Baptist did. And John the Baptist, he teshuba tesh and shub hashib kol amon Yisrael, and he brought in in son. And the flocks he brought in the flocks to God, he 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 did the baptism of repentance. He started calling in the sheep. He started calling in the flocks, and they came and they got baptized. That's what we're doing. We're doing that in the yada yada dan nahad na yada dan maim chaim in Adam Yochanun Yitbo Duranan in Sheba Kahal be Sheba Dama in Adonai Duranan Shem Melech Shem Meshua Kohelet in we're baptizing in the waters of the Jordan because God is coming down. Yara Don. Yara Don, Yara Don. He's coming down. The judge is coming. You ready? You ready, Shachacha Yahweh Yeshua? Yes. Can I'm in. Atim, Atim talking. 
אתם תקין שכחה יכול ישוע רוח הקודש אלוהינו כבוד ענן איש גדול יבוא בשפון סערה כן אמן יס We're going to Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Oh, Kadosh Adok. Oh, Eloheinu. Oh, Gadol. We're going to bow down and praise God when He comes. Are you ready? Yes, you ready. If He comes right now, if He comes right now, it's time to bow down. If you see, if you see, if you see a small dot, fiery, coming from the north, and it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger and it's getting closer 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 okay so now you're ready to bow down and worship him and you're no longer a sinner you are righteous right you know about the garments of salvation and the robes of righteousness that's included you're you're no longer sinners you are righteous holy sons daughters vindicated of all sins why because we have to leave this is very important um, you are baptized in the Jordan River mankind by Adam and he who brought greater graces in the last days and he who brought the greater graces of God in the latter days and um, you are baptized in the Jordan in the waters of life and uh, set free and you're free to go to honeymoon okay you set free because why God is coming he's coming down the judge is the judgment the judge is coming and judgments are going to start okay um and it says these sinners and even the tax collectors, they are declared righteous they are declared righteous sons and daughters of God holy vindicated baptized in the baptism of Adam Adam Yohanun Yitbo Duranam and some some people who claim to know the scriptures and they might reject this uh, okay some people who claim to know things they might reject it um but that's only for themselves okay so some claiming to know they they might reject this counsel of God and but it's only to themselves they can't they can't force they can't rally up they can't rally up the whole world and you know what I'm saying they can't do that because we got chosen ones here so they can only do it to themselves like what I said what I've been prophesying like what I've been prophesying they can only do it to themselves right there um, so some people may reject this counsel that has come from Elohim God but only to themselves and I guess they rejected the baptism for themselves uh, for all God's for all God's chosen for God's anointed for all God's chosen for God's anointed Isha Ishka Hasan Mami Malka I spice God's anointed. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Holy Sikhinu, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Kowalinu, Ruach Hakodesh, Elohim, Dam Yeshua, Hamashiach. Okay, and I cover you guys in the blood of Jesus and baptize you in the presence of God. I bless you in God's anointed. Okay, wife, and I and and I married you. So you're so and I married you as the minister. So God bless you, wifey. God bless you, anointed wives, hip hop, R&B, holy tree, and God's sexiest, holiest daughters in the world. Adam Kala as a prophet, priest, and minister, and king, and I take it. Okay. I'm not, okay. So, I spice. Hi. It's me. Hub, it's your hubbies. You ready to go? You ready to go sing? You ready to go do some shows? We're gonna take you. We're gonna take you on a a tour of the heavens. You ready to go tour of the heavens and sing? Of course. Okay. That goes for everybody. We're gonna continue the tours in the heavens. We're gonna do many shows and sing to the nations. We're gonna sing to Earths. We're gonna sing to Earths and planets and Earths. We're gonna sing. 
Our voices will carry through the universe and dimension. And God's going to bless our voices. Okay, um... So they can't, they can't, they can't do, they can't reject, they can't force people to reject it. They only can do it to themselves. And so, for those who did, for those who, for those nobodies, so the nobodies who are not anointed, they're not anointed. They're, they're conspiring against God's anointed. Okay, we who do music, we who dance, do music. We who are anointed comedians, or we who are anointed actors, or we who are anointed athletes, we who are anointed, okay, there's a conspiracy against the anointed ones. Those ones who are nobodies, they're not anointed, okay, they can't, they can't counsel you, and they can't um, force anything. They can only reject it to themselves. So to them, we say this to them, okay, to those nobodies who are not anointed, they only seek to destroy God's anointed ones of this generation, which is the best generation of all time of 6,000 years, the most beautiful people, the most anointed, the most athletic, the most beautiful voices and dance and choreography abilities, Paula Abdul, Madonna, and Janet Jackson, and... Lady Gaga and everybody, everyone who has the gift and the talent. Um, this is the greatest generations. Michael Jackson, this is the Jackson Five. This is the great and Chris Brown, Jan Justin Bieber. Uh, this is the greatest generation of generations of God's pouring out His Spirit. Okay, and blessed with gifts. I'm. Um, I mean. Just look at the dance. Just look at God's daughters. Just listen to the voices and look at the choreography. Look at the capabilities. There's never been a time like this. There's never, ever been no days like this before, ever. Okay, so that's 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 something to recognize. And so for those, for those who tried to tempt you guys and seduce you and lead you astray from your God, they try to lead you into the furnace of hell. Okay, I'm going to cancel that again in the name of Jesus. I'm going to bless you. Better call you on. Shalom, Yeshua. Adam, Yeshua. Okay, I like him. I bless you. Hip-hop, R&B, Holy Tree, models, actresses. I bless you in the name of Jesus, God's sons and daughters. Benot Elohim, Bene Elohim, Yelad Ad. Bashem Yeshua HaMoshiach, Yahweh HaOsikinu, Ruach HaKodesh, Elohenu, Betokam, Bikim, Kadash, Ganed, everybody. Shout-outs, Malkaz, Yishayel. Atim tie, atim tie, sharita im Elohim, we yakol, el goyim, en ashim, lo emunim bo. Okay, and you prevail, is in keishas, in shadas, Yishael, royal, royal, royal children, Yishmael, Araba, Seranawah, Harminia. You fight with God, we fight with God, and you shall prevail. And there's no powers against you, every, any man or any woman. There's no powers against you. Any man, any woman, there's no powers against you if you got God on your side. Okay, you have God, we have God on our side. There's no powers against us. We're a family. I married you. I bless you. You're my sister of the fortress. I, ca I, I dash you and your children in the fortress, uh, sons and daughters, and, and I marry it, and I bless it. I anoint it. Okay. So for those who conspire against it, this is what Jesus says, and this is what I say. As to what therefore can I liken these people of this generation of rebels who reject the council? Okay, for those who, um, and to what are they like? It's like. It's like if uh, we sang songs in the marketplace, okay, and I played a happy song to make you dance. I played a wedding song. I told you about the wedding. I told them about the wedding. I told I played wedding songs, and they did not dance. They did not dance with me. They weren't happy about it. Okay, so 
I said, okay, I'll sing a funeral song. I'll sing a funeral song of sadness, of death and darkness. They did not weep and mourn for their sins. You get it? And so many people complain about God. Many people complain about the true word of God that we preach. It's good news. There's nothing wrong with it. I preach good news. And some people some people didn't get excited. They didn't dance. They worked against it. Uh, so I said, so I sang a sad song, a funeral song of death and darkness. And then maybe they would weep, pant. maybe they would reap, uh, repent and weep. Maybe they would weep and mourn for sins and repent. And some people still did not. Okay, so that's that's what we can do. I could tell you about honey. I could tell you about the kingdom, and the world of those people who conspire against God's anointed. I tell them about the kingdom of goodness. They should be dancing for it. And then we can tell them about sadness and darkness and death and doom. They should be weeping about it. There's no and there's there's only there's only two ways we can do this. Happiness, dancing, celebration, and weeping and mourning for sins. And if that doesn't work, then it didn't work. And that's what Jesus says. He said, John the Baptist did not drink. They still accused him of being a crazy, demonic person. Ben Adam Yeshua came. He ate and drank. And they said, he's not the Mashiach, he's a glutton and a drunkard, and he hangs out with sinners. <laughs> you see, they're always saying something, aren't they? There's some people who are against God's anointed and chosen generation. There are some people who are just uh, against God, period. And God sends them a holy person, we don't drink. He's a demonic, crazy person. Okay. So let me let me have a drink then. He's a drunkard. This is what they do to us. This is what they do to us. I don't I no I don't eat that. No, I don't eat food dedicated to idols. No, I don't get drunk. He's crazy, he has a demon. Okay, let me well let me get a beer then. He's a drunkard, hypocrite. <laughs> This is the I've I've done this. I, I'm testifying. This is true. I bear witness. This is very true. I say no. I don't eat. I don't eat that food dedicated to idols or false gods. He's crazy. He has a demon. He's rat. He's too wild. John the Baptist was wild. You know he was he was rebuking things. He was rebuking the Pharisees and Sadducees. Yeshua came. He hung out with. He hung out. He called. Yeshua came. He didn't judge. Yeshua came. He didn't judge people. He set the women free, and they were trying to stone the woman for doing you know what. And he he saved her. He he went to the wedding feast. His first miracle, he turned water into wine. His first miracle, he turns water into wine. Oh, he's not the Mashiach. He's hanging around sinners. He's just drinking wine. This guy, this guy's a drunkard. He's not a Mashiach. John the Baptist didn't. They said they said something else about him. Okay. Uh, so that's what he says. You see. So we can only do this two ways. We're going to tell you about goodness, and if that don't work, okay, then I'm going to tell you about the end of the world. If that doesn't work, I'm going to tell them, I mean, those people. And those people who are against us, anointed, chosen ones, they're against the whole world. I'm going to tell them about God's goodness, and the kingdom is better than sex. You're going to, the glorified body is way better. You're going to love it. If that doesn't work, okay. Then let me tell you about the end of the world. And that doesn't work. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Then I don't know what else to say for those people.
So I think it's funny how Jesus, I think it's funny how Jesus identified that. You see, you see how Jesus caught on to this? He says, um, this is in verse 31 when he starts off right here. He says, and what can I compare this generate? What can I compare these men to of this generation? What can I compare these men to? What, what are they like? Like, let me think, let me think of something. It's like being in the marketplace singing a song, a happy song to dance. They stand there with their arms crossed and they judge it. Uh, they don't like happy songs. Okay, let me sing a sad song. They stand there with their arms crossed and they don't like it. They don't they don't like the sad song. They don't like the happy song. So they don't so they don't so they don't weep. So they don't <laughs> So they don't weep and they don't dance. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. Well, this is what we're doing. We're weeping, we're weeping for our sins. We create we give them to God, we wept, we wept for our sins, we weep for our sins, we wept for our sins, we're weeping for our sins, we cast them to the feet of Jehovah, Yeshua, and to the Son of God, we cast our sins to his feet. We come boldly, we come humbly, we come boldly to the feet of of God, Son, and we come boldly, we cast our hearts, our minds, our eyes, our ears, we cast our sins, our souls, our, our life, our wives, our children, our husbands, we cast everything to God, even the enemies, take care of them, I don't want to deal with it, whoever don't like me, don't like me, Lord, I give them to you, everything, I give you everything, My we give you our sins, we give you our eyes, our ears, our mouths, we give you our hearts, we give you our soul, we give you our sins, we give you our wife, we give you our children, we give you our husband, we give you our family, we give you the enemies of ours even. Even the enemy, even my en even, even our enemies who hate us. I get, we give them to you too. You deal with it. We don't want, I don't want to deal with it. I, I don't, I'm busy. Please deal with it. So we give everything to God and to Jesus Christ. God the Son, everything, everything, okay, everything, everything, your whole soul, your whole mind, your whole heart, your whole eyes, your mouth, your ears, your wife, your husband, your children. We give you, we give God even your enemies. We give God the enemies of our souls. Here, here, take our enemies. Do what you want. We just want to worship you, God. We're busy. We're busy weeping for our sins. Take care of our enemies. We're weeping. Oh, take care of our enemies. We're dancing. We're rejoicing in celebration. We're dancing. We're rejoicing. We're busy. What enemy? Here, take the enemies away. I don't we don't got time for that. We don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. We're dancing celebration because God just saved our souls. We're rejoicing in salvation, everlasting life. We're rejoicing because we're about to enter into the kingdoms. We're about to enter into dimensions. We're about to see what Paul saw from first heaven to second heaven to third heaven. We're about to see levels. We're about to, we're about to see levels of heaven. We're happy. We're excited. We're weeping for sins. We're casting our sins to the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're weeping. And we're dancing. Shoot, we're so excited. We do both. <laughs> we're so we're so ex we're so excited. We're doing both. We're weeping for sins. We're dancing because he took them. Shoot, we're crying. We're laughing and crying. We're laughing and crying. We're crying and laughing. We're not just standing. We're not just. We're not just standing here with the arms crossed. We're not just standing here with the arms crossed. We're weeping and dancing. Okay. And so that's what we're doing. And what they're doing, they're just watching us. They claim to be the referee officials. They claim to be they claim to be uh, overseers. They're not. I'm the overseer in the earth and God and heaven is. Okay. Uh, nobody, nobody called them. Nobody hired them. They're not servants. 
whoever claims to be a gatekeeper is not. I'm the doorkeeper. Uh, and everyone's invited. Except for false gods, false kings, and liars. Okay. So, uh, I'm the doorkeeper. And let's go get that one real quick. Okay. Psalm 84.10 For one day in the courts of God one day in the courts of God is far better than a thousand with them and the beast. Okay, so these thousand days so let's say uh, three and a half years uh, three and a half years, 1260 days, 42 months, I think it is. And let's say seven years. Let's say 1260 days, let's say 14, 15, 20. 15, I mean 3,000. 12, I mean 25. Uh, just doing the calculator. Uh, 1260 days. And plus times two, I think it's twenty five twenty. Let's see, uh, twenty five twenty. Uh, so how many divided by twelve is seven years, right? Uh, twenty five twenty divided by twelve. I mean divided by. 365 wait let's see okay so I'm gonna do it now I'm gonna do it backwards it came out to 6.6 .6 something or something 365 times 7 is 1200 I say 1260 or 1290 uh, something like 6 months uh, so we got 1260 days divided by 30 42 months okay so so we're gonna go by 30 days we're gonna go by 30 days I mean yeah 30 days a month okay so anyways uh, something like that something something along with the Bible numbers okay uh, not that it really matters it doesn't really matter it's just I'm just doing the math for the fun of it um, a day, one day in God's presence, one day in God's court. So what does it mean to be in the courts of God? What does it really mean? It means that you're accepted. It means to be accepted into God's presence. It means that God welcomed you into his house. It means that we're actually in God's presence. I'm actually in the courts and in courts of praise. I'm in the courts as a judge. I'm in the courts as a prophet, king, and priest. I'm in the courts as a messenger receiving word. I'm in the courts as many different ways myself personally. I'm in the courts of God, in courts of praise. And I'd rather be because I'm a doorkeeper. I'm a servant uh, for God, not for people. I'm not a people pleaser. I'm not a people pleaser. And that's, and that's what you guys can see. That's what you guys know. I don't have to say that more than one time. And Adam Andrew Duran, he's not a people pleaser. But I'm a salvation bringer. I bring you salvation uh, um, unless I'm not a people pleaser unless you're pleased by the word of God. If you're pleased in God, then I guess. But uh, I'm not here to please the people altogether. I'm here to just bring salvation and put them into the covenant. Okay, so one day in the courts of God's presence, one day in the courts of God's house, one day in his yard, in his courtyard, is better than a thousand days or years somewhere else i rather be a servant in the house of god and as a doorkeeper john chapter 10 i'd rather be a servant that's what i am i'm a servant i'm lowly i'm poor i'm lowly i don't have rich clothes i don't have rich jewelry i don't have i'm not looking for fame and fortune i'm just a servant of the word of god and i'm happy with that and and I know what God's gonna give me, so that's good. Okay, I know my rewards. I know my future, so that's good. 
um, but I would do it for free anyways. I love God. I love God this much. I love Jesus for what he did, for who he is. I love Jehovah for who he is. I love God for who he is. I, I'm willing to serve him for nothing, forever, eternity, to be a messenger. I'm, I'm, I gave myself, I already did this. I'm willing to be a messenger for eternity to carry out word to the nations of the kingdom of God in the heavens. Without a state, without a mansion, without a fortress, I already did this. I surrendered my soul, my life, and my me, my wife, and my daughter, and I already told God, I will serve you for nothing because I love you. Okay, and that's where I, that's how I got promoted. I will serve God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for nothing, forever. I will be His messenger in the high heavens to the nations for eternity and not have a mansion and I did that and he promoted me to this okay uh, and so um, and so I could testify I could bear witness a uh, Psalm 8410 uh, Psalm 8410 uh, ki tob yom and be chaserika me alef and bacharti his tope his tope be bait elohi be bait elohi me door be eloh and be eloh or a sham. And I don't want to be known as Adam Duran in the tents of the wicked. Okay, I don't want to dwell with them. Adam Duran, he's over here. Okay, so there you go. Adam Dudan is not in the tents of the wicked. I'm in the house of God. Okay. Daytime is right here. Be Hatsarika. I'm in your courts, God, and this is what I choose. Okay. It's way better. It's way better to be Dudan, the doorkeeper, in the house of God, Bebeit Elohim, than to be Amin Dor. You see, Adam, Adam did on of daytime, be chasareka me alef be beit Elohim, and Gado mean Adam did on be beit Resha. You see, uh, there's a choice to make. So, you see, you could, you could be like me in the courts of God, in the house of God, but in you got to be a doorkeeper. You got to be a, a servant. And no, not a doorkeeper, but a servant, in other words. A humble servant willing to serve the gospel for nothing. Okay? You got to be willing to serve the gospel for nothing. And you'll never see me. You'll never see, you'll never see me as Adam Dudon in the tents of the wicked. So you see and you hear him coughing over there? You hear him coughing to the beast? You don't see them. You don't see me with them, cause they're beast worshippers, six 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 witches and warlocks and witchcraft. You'll never see me with them ever, partaking. Okay, so you can be. So you got a choice. You can be you in the house of God like me, in eternal daytime, or you could be the other you in the tents of the wicked. Okay, so, all right, so that's what God gives you the option. You guys are being called me. Uh, I don't really have an option. I'm, I'm a slave. But nevertheless, for the sake of illustration, for the sake of illustration, this is to help you guys understand that uh, some people in this generation, many, I mean, many people in this generation are being called, okay? And very few people are actually chosen, okay? And there's a difference. What's the difference? What's the difference between being called and being chosen? Be, be between being called and chosen. It's like this. I don't do wrong. And God calls us. Okay. God calls us out of the beast, right? He says, "Don't take the mark of the beast. Don't go to the wicked." Don't hang out with witches. Don't hang out with murderers. 
don't don't be a murderer don't and don't do witchcraft don't hang around unbelieving nations and come to Jesus okay and come to God so you're being called okay in Matthew 22 oh this is what we're doing we're doing Matthew 22 okay so and this is me the servant the doorkeeper so here I am in Adam the dawn of daytime I am not in the tents of the wicked I'm in the courts of God and he sends me out of the courts and he says uh, there's a kingdom of the heavens has become like a man he's a king now he served God for free for nothing but he says, son, and go out and still continue to gather unto the wedding feast of the kingdom of heaven. And he sends his servants, or he sends me the servant, and Adam, 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 called a Yaakov. And so I gather them and I call them. Okay. And let's go to Genesis 20. Uh, let's go to Genesis 25, 30. Okay. And you see, Adam, 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 and Shemo Adam, okay, Shemo Adam, he says three times, okay, Adam, 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 Shemo Adam, he kara Yaakov, I call Jacob, I am Jacob, okay, I am Jacob calling Jacob, what's his name, Shemo Adam, what's his name, Adam, 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 Shemo Adam, what does he do? Kara Yaakov. Why? Because Adam Bahar. Adam's chosen. What's his name? Adam. What does he do? Kara Yaakov. What's his name? Adam, Adam, Adam. What does he do? Kara Yaakov. What's his name? Shemo Adam, Adam, Adam. What does he do? Kara Yaakov. What's his name? Adam, 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 Dudaran, Adarim, of the flocks. What does he do? Kara Yaakov, Adarim, he calls the flocks. Okay, so his name's Adam, his name's Adam Kara Duran, and I am Kara. Okay, I call Jacob. I'm the chosen. Adam Bahad Dudaran. I'm chosen. You're called, not me. I'm not called, I'm chosen. I'm born again already. You know who else was chosen? John the Baptist John the Baptist was chosen he was given the Holy Spirit you know who else is chosen but in the beast because of of force of these witches and Alexis was born in the Holy Spirit okay, okay so uh, I'm chosen to call Jacob Luke 1, Luke, Luke chapter 1, John the Baptist was chosen. He wasn't called. He was chosen. He was calling them. He's the one who was calling them. Remember, I'm a voice calling out in the wilderness. I'm a voice of the wilderness calling out. Zakaria was filled with the Holy Spirit. Shut up. Okay. And we got in verse. When Mary comes to greet, it says Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She cried out in a loud voice. She said, uh, not her. Um, and the baby, verse her. Verse 41. And John the baby was leaping in the womb because Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. John was chosen. Okay. So John was chosen in Luke 1, verse uh, 41. Okay. John had the Holy Spirit since the womb. Okay. So, in other words, God planned this. God planned something special to use John. Okay. 
Uh, Luke 3.22. Let's open this real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, John the Baptist. It says... He's the voice of him calling out in the wilderness. Okay, uh, and Elijah and Isaiah... Yeshua, Elia, Ben Adam, Elia, Shenei, and not the same one, and Adam, Yohanun, Yitbo, Duran, in a kolo, be kolo Yehovah Yeshua, ba mirbar, and in the voice of God in the times of the desert wilderness, in Adam, in Adam, 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 Shemo, Adam, Kara Yaakov, the voice, in say Melekakin, Melekakin, Darka Yehovah Yeshua, and he prepares the way of the Savior. God is coming. So who's the one with the visions? Ben Adam, Darom Hatev Nabi, Yechesikyo Nabi, Melech Yechesikya, Melech Hesed, Melech Sariz, Melech Yechesikya, Melech Akin, Melech Yehovosikinu, Melech Adonai, Deredon Shalom Yeshua. He sees the future. He's preparing the people because God is coming. And I, he says, An Ani be Kolo Yahova Yeshua by me and be Aharit Hayamin by me bar and Melek Akin and into Derek Darka Yeshua Hamashiach Yahova Yahova Adonani Moshena. I'm preparing his way. Be le Babkim, be Roshekim. Be lebabkim, be roshekim in your minds and your hearts. Yashar, yashar, amar, yashar derek, be lebek. Okay, atem ta'ashe, yashar derek, be lebek. Make a straight way in your heart. Crooked people, noisemakers, shut up. No one's talking to you. Get out of here. No one called the Pharisee. Nobody's calling the Sadducees. You don't believe in heaven? Shut up. Don't come around here no more. Nobody's talking to you. Shut up with your coughing. Shut up with your fake, fake uh, gods of the beast. You're not ever going to go. You're never going to be a servant of God as a, as a false god of the beast. You're stuck there. Okay. You claim to be God. You claim to be creator. You claim to be a maker. You claim to be Jesus. You're stuck forever because you don't repent. And your people with you, who who around here uh, tries to make me believe that nonsense. You're lying to the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know what happens when you lie to the Holy Spirit? Go to the Book of Acts. Ananias and his wife. They lie to the Holy Spirit and they drop dead and go to hell. Okay, so don't bring that nonsense around here. Preach it to yourself. Okay, don't be trying to don't be trying to recruit. A Holy Spirit person to a non Holy Spirit abomination of the beast. It doesn't make no sense. We go forward, not backwards. We're not going. We're not. I mean, I never was there in the first place. But don't don't try and recruit me, who's Holy Spirit filled. I know the real Jesus. He's right here sitting next to me. Jesus is right here sitting next to me, and you're saying what? And what are these idiots around here coughing about? Uh uh. Repent or perish, but and that's your choice. I don't want to hear about it. I'm the voice calling out in the wilderness desert. Prepare a way for the Lord God, Yahweh Yeshua. He's coming. I seen him. He's coming. Make a straight way in your heart and your minds. Because every valley is about to be filled in. All the mountains and the hills will be crumbling and brought down. The Kabodo in Kabodo in Kabodo Yahweh Yeshua El Eruah Hakodesh El Hinu in Asha Yashad Mishor Mishor Ko Aretz Ko Aretz Mishor Tachta Tachta Kabod in Yahweh Yeshua Ko Aretz Mishor Under the glory of God, the earth will be leveled. Understand? Atem tada ata tada ze tak ta kabod Yahweh Yeshua Ruach Hakodesh Eloheinu kol aret ze mishor in 
ימלא, ימלאו כה עמק, כה חרים, נפל, ימחול. The hills, the, the valleys, the valleys will be filled, the mountains will come down, and the whole earth will be leveled. I seen it. I, he took me to the future. I saw the fireworm. I saw the fire. I saw the end. But I saw the end, end, end. And the earth was nothing but gray dust. And it was leveled. There wasn't, a, there wasn't an ocean. There wasn't a river. There wasn't a rock. There wasn't even a rock. There wasn't a pebble. There was nothing but gray ashes. And then... After that, it's going to poof, blow in the. It's going after he turns the earth to dust. He's gonna. It's gonna blow away into nothingness. The whole universe, not just the earth, the whole universe, the whole Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, uh, Pluto, and what's the other one? Mercury. In the sun and the moon, the stars and all the other galaxies are going to burn and turn to dust and poof, blown in the wind as chaff. It's gonna be, it's gonna blow it away as nothingness. So, and we have to leave, right? Okay. So what's the problem? I'm the voice calling out in the wilderness. Adam, 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 Shemo, Adam, Kara Yaakov. Stop coughing and nonsense. The beast ain't doing it. I'm doing it. Period. And the beast is going to stay here. You'll see. Okay, so. In Zetob, Zetob ya in Bidabaro, an ani amar, neum adonai Yahweh Shoh Mashiach Ruh HaKodesh, neum ha emet dabaro, ya min Yahweh Shoh HaMashiach, ze yiye, ko yiye, dabaro yiye, shut up. And the baraka sheked. The the baraka sheked. The barai emet. Ze yiye. And and the baraka lo yiye. My words will be. Your words will not be. And then you will know. I am Adonai. Do it on. Sevahot. In kohen nebiaka malkeka yechawe. And. Acheka Abdeka Aberadam Kana Duradam. I'm your brother. I tell you the truth. Why would I lie to you? Why would I want to save your soul? So why I would not lie to you? Because I want to save you. But so I sing you a happy song. God is coming. You say no. I sing you a sad song. The, the earth is going to burn to dust. And you still say no. So you're a liar. Because I saw it myself, and the Bible says it, the Old Testament says it, the New Testament says it. They both say the same thing. And you deny it, you're a liar. I saw it. And I saw it. Uh, God took me to the end of the world. I saw the end. I saw the future. I'm not, I'm not just a preacher. I'm not just a prophet. I'm not just a priest and a king and a priest. I'm a witness. Ed Amunaman, Amunaman Ed Yahweh Yeshua. Ruach Hakodesh. Adam, Adam on Dora Duradon, Ed Amunaman, Yahweh Yeshua Ruach Hakodesh, Amunaman Ed. We're both witnesses. Elohim, Amunaman Ed, Adam on Dora Duran, Ed Amunaman. We're both faithful witnesses. We don't lie to you. Tell you the truth. You're lying. All the witches, all the warlocks, all the Satanists, all the fake, all those fakers, all the conspirators, all the haters of God, all those who don't sing, uh, dance with us, all those that don't weep with us, and you who don't partake with us, you're a liar. I tell you the truth. Okay, so I'm the voice in the wilderness in the desert. I am saying, prepare a way for the Lord God, the K, uh, the Melech Kabods, Yehovah Izut, and 
यहोवा से बहुत ईजूस यहोवा यहोवा की बोर ईजूस मिलखमा ने उम आदोनाय से बहुत मेलक आदोनाय दुरान शलोम शुआ से बहुत यहोवा आनु ने उम आने ने उम यहोवा से यहोवा एल की बोर ईजूस मिलखमा יבוא בכבוד נעש גדול, סערה בסעפון. He's not here yet. שקר, you're a liar. God's not here yet. אדם 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 שמו אדם קדם יעקב אדרים אקרא שרת. You're not calling nobody. אדם calls Jacob Israel and not Satanists, not witches, נחש אשק נחש, מין הקל השטן. No, no, Kara Yaakov Yishael. Adam calls him. I do it. Because Sawani, Siwani, Adonai Yehovah Shabbat, Siwani, Ben Adam Darom Hatef Nabi, he told me to do it. And the, the synagogue of Satan want, of course, they want acknowledgement. They want me to join them. But I can't because they worship fake Jesus. They're, they're, they run amok. They got a whole bunch of false gods. All these guys are gods, and they're trying to be a king and a god, and he's trying to be an angel, he's trying to be a preacher, he's trying to be a god, a creator. You guys are confused. You guys you guys are all confused. You got to get your story straight. You're Elohim, you're God, El, and you're Michael the Archangel, and he's a god maker, and he's a shepherd, and he's a creator, and he's a god, and he's and he's a disciple, and he's a and he's calling Israel, and he's a god, and you guys don't make no sense. You guys are confusers. You guys are just all. You guys look. You guys turn. You guys change your stories, and all these all these dumb dumbs around here vouch for it. All these dumb dumbs want me to believe it. I've been saved way too long. I've been saved way too long in reading the Bible since I was seven years old. I've been born again, speaking in tongues. Listen, you guys got to just repent, repent, and stop preaching because you don't know what you're talking about. And your people, too. And your people, all these people, these dum-dums who, these dum-dums who keep repeating the lies, all these dummies repeating the lies in the world, they don't know God. These guys don't know God. And they claim to be God. How can they know God? So you're God. You say you're God. So then you don't know God because you're God. Okay. That's what you say. Then you don't know Jesus. He claims to be Jesus. So then you don't know this Jesus, right? You don't know nothing about this Jesus. So you don't know nothing about, Je you don't know nothing about Jehovah Jesus coming from the north. You don't know nothing about this God, the real God, because you think you're him. So what are you doing here? Why aren't you in Israel then? So how come you're not in New Jerusalem? We're not we're not even there yet. So what's going on then? Okay. So where's the kingdom then? If you're God and he's the, he's the angel, so where are the where are the armies of angels? Where's all the rest of the angels? Why is there still cemeteries and people dying every two seconds? There's a person who dies every two seconds. Nobody in the kingdom's gonna die. So that's another lie. They said this is heaven. Why is there death and sickness then? That's another lie. So if you're God and you're Jesus and you're this, why aren't you in Israel, non-genius? Because they don't want you there. That's why. They know better. They know you're not God. What are you doing over here? You, you, man, you don't know that they're just dumbing you guys down and using you to be something. I'm not sure why, but and why aren't you in Israel? Why aren't you, why aren't you being ruling and reigning in Israel as an antichrist? Or what are you doing over here? Okay, so anyways, uh, you guys got a whole bunch of different stories. These people make noises about it. And everyone's doing witchcraft and occultism. And whenever I come across, whenever, whenever they try to persuade me, whenever they try to curse me, 
Okay, they're they're saying that I was dwelling in the tents of the wicked because this is me doing. These idiots over here are trying to curse me, saying that I dwell in the tents of the wicked. Oh, what wicked? I'm by myself. Let's go to, I'll go to, no, where was I at? Okay. So this is what, this is what we're doing. Okay, so I already read the tense of the wicked one. Uh, I'm a servant, I'm a doorkeeper, I'm a servant. I know who I am. I'm, I don't dwell around no tense of the wicked. The wicked is with the wicked. I'm a loner. Jacob is a loner. Uh, Genesis 28, 32. Or uh, 32, 28. I'll just show you real quick. And Genesis 32, 24. And Genesis 32, 24. Let me show you who Jacob is. He is Yaakov Badol. He's a loner. Okay. He's not in the tents of the wicked, A.D., Adam Duran. He is of the daytime. He's a loner. He is wrestling for the faith. Okay. Okay. He wrestles for the faith. He's a loner. Verse 28. He is Yisrael wrestling with Elohim against the Nashim, the man, and I prevail. So Adam is Kadam Yaakov is a loner. Kadam Yaakov Adarim, I'm a loner. I wrestle with God, I'm Yisrael. I fight with Elohim against men and I prevail. Okay, why is that? Because he already overcame the world. We're just waiting for deliverance. Okay. So Jacob is a loner. He's not in the beast of many friends. Uh no, I'm not in the tents of the wicked. It's in me dod. It says from out of. Uh, so that's another one. Mean dood means from out of, not in. Non genius. I am the doorkeeper in the courts of God. I am in the Beit Elohim. I am not in the Ohel Reshaim. I, it says mean dood means from out of. Okay. So just for, for their, um, a reminder. A reminder for the non-geniuses that mean means from out of, not in non-genius. As by definition, uh, I'm a loner. I'm not in the tents of the wicked. You guys are on the tents of the wicked. You guys are with the witches and Satanists. So once again, you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Once again, uh, these old men, this old lady and all the neighbors. And once again, they blaspheme the Holy Spirit. And they call me wicked. Okay, that's unforgivable. Okay. So, when these old men and this old lady and the neighbors throw voodoo witchcraft because it says, Me dur, me dur, oh hell, reshaim. It says from out of. Adam Duran is out of and not in the tent of the wicked. Non-genius. Okay. So, uh, those people who blaspheme me. They're blaspheming the Holy Spirit, and they're pretty much screwed at this point. Okay, let's get back to it. So he's a loner. John the Baptist was a loner. Jesus, he was a loner. Jacob, he was a loner. Enoch, he was a loner. Noah, he was a loner, but he had a family. Okay, and Enoch went with God by himself. Elijah, he was kind of a loner. He was with Elisha, but he went with God by himself. Enoch, he went by himself to God. Noah, he spoke with God. Abraham spoke with God. Sarah was there. Uh, but nevertheless, okay, righteous men. In other words, they weren't, they weren't with the world. Okay. John the Baptist, loner. Holy Spirit filled. 
you blaspheme the Holy Spirit bad Jesus loner get it bado kadam yako bado okay uh, Genesis 29 1 Waisha yako raigla wayelek arsa bene adam in kadam in yako kadam and what does he do what is what does kadam yako do he shaka shaka edarim adam do not flocks what does he do let's read it why shut up why you call kadam yako regla why you like arsa bene kadam and why are he ne be'er hashadeh and be'er yeshua hamashiach he ne sham shalasha edarim son robesim and aleha robesim shout out to robert kadashain and aleha ki min ha be'er yeshua hamashiach haya repua wahi hahi yashku shaka ha edarim and e ben gadola al pi ha be'er yeshua and so the ancient man Kadam Yaakov, a Duran, a Darim of the flocks, he's a spy, he's a regal on a journey, and he's about to go into the land of eternity. He's about to take the flocks into Kadam, into the new earth. He sees that there's a well in the field of the earth, and Be'er Be'shadei Aretze, and Be'er Yeshua Moshiach Hayamaya. He sees as a well of life in the earth. So behold, he goes and he sees three flocks there. Who's that? Who's the three flocks? Pause it. Okay, so we have Yisrael. For one, we got Yisrael. And we got Araba. And we got Harminia, Seranoach. Okay. We have, so we have Harminia, Seranoach. We have Araba, Yishmael. Mean Abraham, and we have Yisrael. Yisrael are Yerushalayim Chadasha Ami, and Yishmael Araba, and Ibrim mean Abraham, and Harminia Seronoach Kadomim ancient men. Okay, Kadashim Kason Kason Yerushalayim, and Son Adam Kadam, ancient ones, or um, just anyone, everybody. Basically, everyone wrapped up in Adam. Okay, so we got Kadashim, the Sadakim, everyone's righteous. Everyone is going to New Jerusalem. We have, everyone is Yahudim. Everyone is Jews. We are all Jews. Okay, so what do you see? Three flocks. Kason, Kadashim, Sadakim, Yerushalayim, Ami, Kason, and, and, Son, Adam, Duran, Edarim. And where are we going? Bima Odeha. We're going to Bima Odeha Adaneha Hatuna. You know, we're going into the wedding feast, honeymoon. This is right there. We're going into the wedding feast. Because, can he? Why? Why can he? Because these cities are going to get the Chereb Yehovah. Yeah, Cherebot Yehovah Yeshua. These cities are about to get the sword of the Lord God and plagues. So all the flocks of Adam and Kadam Yaakov Edarim are being fulfilled right now today already done. It's already done. In key in in Ko 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 Goim Lo Emunim Yadeu Kiani Yehovah Yeshua Ruh Hakodesh Elohim and all the unbelieving nations of liars will see and know when this when we leave when the fireball comes when the spaceships come and the armies come and when they when they see us go into the fireball of god then they will know that i have spoken from yahovah yeshua hamashiach and the ruach hakodesh when you see this happen when you see god empty out uh when you see god take his arabs when you see talk when you see god take his harminia when you see God take Israel, and when you see God take us, okay? When you see God come, and He takes the rapture, what are you going to say? 
we went to hell? Exactly. Shut up. And you're going to say we went to hell. Right? You're going you're to continue the blaspheme. These people are going to continue the blaspheme. And guess what? In Ha'erim Babel, Ha'erim Babylon, Cherebot, Cherebot, Yehovah Yeshua HaMashiach. You're going to get the sword of the Lord and the plagues. Blasphemers, Megadef, in Doberim, in Omerim, Doberim, Rabim, El Elohim, Cherebot, Yehovah Yeshua, Ruach HaKadosh, Malaot. This will be fulfilled. You liars, coffers, you're going to get the sword because you're liars. And all your, and all your dumb dumbs out here coughing to nonsense. You're going to still be stuck here. I don't know what you're coughing about in my ears. You're not going nowhere. My words will be, Dabara yiye, Dabarika lo yiye. Understand? My words will become, my words will be. My words will happen. My words, my prophecy. My word shall become reality. Your words, nothing. Your words, nothing. Cough, cough, nothing. You're still going to be here. What are you going to do when I'm gone? What are you going to do when Kadasha and Jenners are gone? Harmenia, Araba, Muslim, uh, some Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, and real Christians. And what are you going to do? And what are you going to do when we're gone? Cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? A delusion. You're going to be delusional. You're going to be sitting on the couch, living a delusion, still. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. You're still going to be here again, the, the, the lava rivers. And you're going to get the, you're going to get the lava rivers. Daniel 7, 9, and 10. You're going to get the new Dina Hard Naged from Ganer and even Kadashain and Bika Borana Neshkado and Ganer Nehar Di Nur Naged. When I think, Min Kodamohi Alepaim Karna Yoho Yeshua Yeshamune Shamash Lebana Zibor Abawan in Kadamohi Ye Come on, Kim. Come on, Kim. Dina. Time for the judgment in the courts. Yetiv as Seprim Pitehu, and we're going to open the books. And we're going to, the books is, uh, means also we're going to be listening to what they're saying. We're going to document everything they say in the earth, where we're in the courtyards, where we're in Eden, be, be Adin, where we're in Eden, sitting on our Adans, and we're in, we're in Eden, we're in honeymoon, we're on the porch, we're everywhere multiplied, added to ourselves. And we're going to bring judgments according to the words of these uh, Rabbi Bata. Milaya, Milaya, Rabbi Bata. Di Karna Behema, Mema Alila. En Hase, Hawet, Aindelet, Kadasha Inganet, Adam Duran, Di Ketila, Behema, Adam and Chavachayas. Abad, Abadon, and Nasha Abadon. In Behema, Adam did not have a slay the beast with judgment, Gishma, Wehibat, and Lekidat Esha. And I watched and I saw these judgments from the pedestals of them sitting, open books, watching, waiting. And what did we hear? We continued to hear these <laughs> cough, 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 nothing. Of pompous words, blasphemers speaking great things against God in the heavens of the fireball. The horns of the beast were speaking these. These horns of the beast were speaking blasphemies still in the earth while they were surrounded by tsunamis and rivers of lava. They were surrounded by lava rivers and tsunamis and they still <laughs> cough, cough, cough. Still, we're going to watch it. Adam Duran, Kadashin Ganet. And Shadas Malkas, Chavachayas, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch as we slay the beast. And anyone left, we're gonna finish off in Revelation 19. We'll come. We'll come down and slay the rest of them. And okay. And so, um, they're going to be here. Um, these people might be gone. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. 
Uh, many people will be wiped out by hailstones, tsunamis, lava rivers, and there will be a lot of going on. And so, uh, we destroy the whole body of the beast. In the end, it will be destroyed with fires. And even, even Jenners will send forth lava rivers of judgment upon this place of coffers and <laughs> cough, cough, and nothing. It means nothing. This word shall be Daniel Sheba Ashad Yiyeh and, and Ashad Aleph. And lava rivers are coming forth from Kadam and from God. We get our powers and judgments from God. And we're going to pass judgments. I am Shamash. Okay, I will be Shamash in Labanas and I will be Shamash in the earth. I will still be igniting people. And we will still be sending forth the lava rivers. And these will these powers come before him that act the ancient God. Okay. Kadamohi Yahweh Yeshua Kadamohi Atik Yomim, the ancient God. He gives us authority to do this. Do you guys know? Do you guys know about the rod of judgment? Do you guys know about the to shatter the nations into potteries? Okay. And don't worry, we're gonna be gone. Okay, let's get back to uh, let's get back to Genesis twenty nine um, twenty nine one. And we'll be gone. And Kadam Yaakov Adarim, I take the flocks, three flocks. Three flocks, Harminia, Araba, Yisrael. Yisrael is my Nasha, Perim, Aferika, everybody. Okay. Three flocks. Okay, three flocks. Harminia, Sera Noach, and Yishmael, Araba, and Sera Abraham, Ibrim. And Yisrael, Yerushalayim, Ami. Three flocks. Okay. And he sees a well in the earth. So behold, he goes. And I see the flocks. I see Harminia needs needs words. Yisrael, I see, needs words. They got a bunch of false teachers. The church needs words. They got a whole bunch of false teachers. Okay. I see Yisrael, I see Harminia, I see Mushalem, they need words, everyone needs encouragement. I see a well of life, I see dry bones, you see Ben Adam, Kadam Yaakov, Edarim, and, uh, and, uh, what's the this one, and Shaka, Edarim, Yashkip, Yashku. Kadam Yaakov Edarim Yashku. Kadam Yaakov Edarim Yashku. Maim Chaim Min Be'er Yeshua HaMoshiach. In Shalash. In Son Shalash. Adare Shalasha. Son Shalash. Okay. I see three flocks. They need. I, I see they need water. In Atzem Bashar Yehovah Yeshua. The body of Christ needs waters because everyone else is a liar. God is true. Everyone has become a liar of false teachers, false prophets of balls, ringing the bells. You know, they're ringing the bells. That means they're balls. That means they're false prophets telling lies. They say whatever they want and get away with it. But now we know. Now we know where the power is at. It's in the well of Jesus Christ, which... I rolled a stone. And uh, Gala, Gadola, Eben, and Min Be'er Yeshua Mashiach, and Kadam Yaakov, Eidarim, Yashku, Min Be'er Yeshua Mashiach, Mahim Chaim. Open the well, I open the stone, I roll the stone open, I take water, and I give it waters of life. And Lechem Chaim, Mahim Chaim. I give them bread of life, waters of life. And everyone's good. As, as So this is after the fact. This is after um, casting our sins to God. This is putting your names in the book of life, writing your names in the new earth, um, putting you in the blood of Jesus in the waters and the sacrifice of Jesus, the, the blood of the covenant. We did all that first. Now we're doing this. Okay. Watering the flocks with the word of truth. The word of truth, take it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This is good word. This is good. This is good. This is Mebashe Tov. Mebashe Tov Shalom Yeshua Min Be'er Yehoi Yeshua Hamoshiach En Ma'im Chaim Lechem Chaim I mean Basharo Min Min Basharo Yishpok Yishpok Shafak Min Sado Kaim Sodera Sodera Roma Sodera Roma In Chalel Sado Basharo Al Shenei Etz Mizbiach Ke Asher Telatam Sheha Elohim Ben Ha Elohim Bar Elohim Yeshua Mashiach In Chalel In Kaim In Sodera Sodera Roma Sodera How do I say it? He perishes them In Yishafak Ma'im Chaim In Damo Dami Waters of life and the blood of Jesus flows. So we did that. Okay, so now we're doing the. So he is the bread of life. He is the waters of life. He's. He, you see? He's the well, right? He's the well, right? Okay, let's go look at it. He's the well. Was the well? And Yeshua is the well. Okay. No, there's no, there's no other, there's no other Yeshua. There's no other Jesus. And shut up. Get out of here, devil, Satan. Okay, shut up. There's nobody else. Uh, so, um, Kadam Yaakov. Kadam Yaakov, Eidarim, Son Shalash, Yashku, Min Be'er, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Yisrael, Sheker Yeshua, Jesus, in Yara, in Nafal, in Nafal, Bishero, Tehomesh Gado, Delet Zagar, Olama Ador Ador, I lock them in hell, they go down, I already saw the dreams. I already saw the dream of fake Jesuses going and burning in hell. They're sealed. It's a done deal. The tentacle, the ill creatures, the ill creatures, and will will suck them down with them. When Satan goes to hell, they go to hell if they last that long. Okay, they're going. Um, if they die in the tribulation and there's no hell yet, then they're going to outer darkness hell, and then. Out of darkness, the first death will be casted into the lake of fire. The second death. Either way, they'll be there. Either way, that's their final destination. Uh, fake Jesus, fake Yeshua, to hell. It's enough already. You're gonna get great judgment with Satan, Satan demons. That's what you guys are. You're a bunch of sat. You're a bunch of satanic demons, lying deceiver, confusers. You're gonna go to. You're gonna go to hell with Satan and demons. Understand? Shut up. Okay. Um. And so we're going to Yeshua, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yisrael. He's the Mayan. He's the Maya Chaya. He's the Mayan fountain in Mayim Chaim. Okay. Uh, he's everything. He's the Lechem Chaim, Mayim Chaim. And it says in verse. Um, over here in verse in verse uh, 34 and but the soldier pierced his side with the spear is Sadera Roma Sadera did I say it right? soldier Adam Moshe Adam Moshe ah and I'm trying to say it. Lashoni Kabot. And my tongue is heavy sometimes. Sometimes my tongue is heavy. Like Moses. Okay. Schmelt. Sometimes I'm smelting. In other words, I'm smelting. <laughs> In other words, I'm smelting. Okay. And so, again, glory to... 
Glory to the real one, right? Right. And hallelujah, Yehovah, hallelujah, Yeshua, hallelujah, Ruh HaKadosh, Eloheinu. Amen, amen. And lo bim, lo bim, come, yeah. He's not here yet. Lo ad, bim, come, yeah. Yehovah, Yeshua. He's not here yet. He's coming. And uh, Echad, Roma, Sedera, Echalal, Sado, In, Cain. In Damo, Maya, Shafak, Min Basharo. And one of the Roman soldiers pierced the side of him with the spear, and his blood and waters, Shafak, came pouring out. So, and Echad, Huz, Roma, Sedera, and Ra'aze, and Yalad, Ha'ed, and Munaman. Yalad, and he became a true witness right there. Where a do time met and who yada ki who amad ze ha met and ki atemtia gam and moon bo or zot maashehu. Ashot yeshuot maashehu. So that you guys can also believe and there is a witness who was born a Roman soldier. Okay, he saw this. So even as Luke 11 says that the men of Nineveh will judge this place for they repented and those who don't repent here will be judged by them from the heavens too. And the Roman soldiers who received Jesus in the days of Jesus will also judge this place because they believed and confessed the real Son of God. These, sold, these Roman soldiers are going to judge these people too because they gave witness shut up because they bore witness they have a true testimony that the blood and waters poured out from the side of Jesus Christ of Nazareth nobody else Jesus is Jehovah and he's the well of life and salvation and he's the bread of life and he's the light of life he is life he's the maor maona he's the honeymoon he's the source he's a and he's a witness of the Father, Yahweh Ada. We read that yesterday. He bears witness of the Father. He's seen him do these things. Remember? He bore witness of the Father. The Father bears witness of him. Okay. So praise God, brothers and sisters. So, there you go. What is the Be'er Yaakov? Be'er? Wayata Biyom in Be'er Mayachaya Yeshua HaMashiach. I feel how I know because I'm Kadam Yaakov. Ani Yada, I know because I'm Kadam Yaakov. Idarim, Bison, Roy Bison, Adamani, Katan, Yeshua, Hamashia, Nishorasha, Yeshua, Mashia, Hotemi Geza, Yishi, Samach, Meleki, Hosikin. I know because I am Jacob calling Jacob. I know what I'm feeding you. Like, okay, so what's for dinner? Uh, so Adam is, Adam is the chef. Adam's a chef, he cooks dinner for everybody, he feeds the flocks. So I make you dinner. So how is it that I don't know what I'm giving you? Ma Maderek Ani Nlo Yada Ani Atan Alekem Lechem Chaim Lechem Chaim Maim Chaim Maim Chaim and Ma Asher Ma Asher Ani Lakak Mino Maim Chaim Lechem Chaim from Be'er Yeshua HaMashiach Sado, because I am Bar Sadiq, be Adam Sadiq, Sadiq be Dor. Second Samuel 22, uh, 23, 3, and Genesis 6, 9. And Melech Yahweh Jeremiah 23. Uh, where am I going? Oh, Second Samuel 23, 3. In Amar Elohe Yisrael, Li Debet Sur Yisrael, Moshe Bi Adam Sadiq, Moshe Yirat Elohim, Genesis 6-9. Ko Ele Toledot Noah Noah Adam Noah Duran Ish Sadiq Tamim Chaya Dorot Elohim Hitalek Noah. We did this yesterday. You guys are blameless because I made you blameless. 
not God did. You guys are blameless because I made you blameless. I'm the one who did the work. I know I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm telling you. I know what I'm feeding you. You guys are blameless. I know what I'm feeding. I'm the chef. Be Adam Sadiq, Sadiq be Dor. And to Teba Sedaka Yeshua, Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark for the righteous, holy, and Kadashim Sadakim. And Adam Noah, Adam Noah, Duranan, and Asha, Teba Sedaka Yeshua, Kiko, Kadashim Sadakim, and Son Yishma Araba, Ibrim, Min Abarecham, and Kos Harminia, Sedan Noah, Kanomim, and Yishayel, Yerushalayim, Kadash Ami. Adam makes the ark. Adam builds the old Noah's ark for everyone. The spaceship is coming. The spaceship is coming. Blessing at the Navy. Going to discover like five star Macy's. Okay, so. And the ark is built. The ark is, the ark is coming. And Harminia. And Moshalim. Har Araba. And all Israel, which is the church and everybody. Okay, and so we are blameless with God. We're we're in Elohim God. We're gonna go into God, and He tell it, He tell it, Kadamim Noah Dorim Dorim. He tell it, Ba Elohim. He tell it, in Ba Elohim, Kadamim Noah Dorim. All the ancient men here of this generation who have received this rest of God, of this generations, you will walk right into in the skies. You're gonna go enter into Elohim, and He comes. Okay. Not not coffers. Whoever's coughing over there, they're lying. And yeah, I already told you to stop coughing in my ear. Uh, so uh, they're not going because they're liars. And they're probably trying to steal this sermon. Okay. Uh, so this is what this is who it is. Um, this is what God is doing. Okay. Kadam Yaakov and Kadam Yaakov Edarim Yashku and Shalashon Edarim. Okay. And in Gadola, and let me show this one here. Gala Galula. In Gala Gala Gadol Eben Gala Eben Gadola. Mean P. Be'er Yeshua HaMashiach Ewe Hishku Ma'im Chaim Lechem Chaim Kol Son Adam Duran Mala Yechesik Yonabi 36-38 Remember? Okay We are fulfilled We're good We're fulfilled how do we know? Because let's go, let's go from the Torah, Moshe, Yahweh, Yeshua. And you go from Torah into the Nevim, and you can see the future. That it says, Karashim Sarakim, Mala, Keson Yerushalayim, Mala, and Kadomim, Noach, Dorim, Mala, and um, Yishmael, Yishmael, Araba, uh, Ibrim, Mala. Kol son Adam Duran Mala is and then and then these places get the sword and so this will be okay so um, we're gonna this one twenty eight so it's um let's see is one twenty eight minutes or is that an hour and twenty eight I think it's has it been that long. Uh, the thing about these people here, uh, I think I'm going to stop it right here, but uh, some people are trying to keep, uh, they're using flattery, they're using flattery to deceive people, uh, as we read before in Daniel 11.30. Let's go to Daniel 11.30 real quick. So just so you guys beware, and everybody, I love everybody, and this is very serious. Heaven's serious, hell is serious, okay, and this is... So, this is what they want. They want to build ships to my honeymoon. They want to go their own way. It's going to fail. God destroys that in Chronicles. Okay. Uh, in Chronicles, let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
Okay, so I got it. So Eliazar, Dodi Wa, Sarah Davi, quiet, shut up. And um, the helper from God, Adam Azar, you know the um, prophecy or Azar, Adam. Elohim makes Adam a helper. But nevertheless, uh, now Adam is the helper for Israel. Okay. Um, so he's here. The prophet is here. And Dabar the B. I am I am Melech Yehoshaphat in this sense. In the name of the meaning. In the name of the meaning. I am of the Lord with good judgment. I am Melech Yehoshaphat in good judgment. In Mishpat Tobia. In Shedekah Kadosh Shedekah. In Lehol Sham Yisrael, Araba, in Armenia, and I am a Lek Yehesikia, Yehuda, Yehuda, Ki Ani Chasak Kol Amo Bedabaro. And the whole point of this is to strengthen you guys in the words, to make you strong, and to make you strong, Giborim Be Emuna, and Ke Asher Neamin Bed. Debarim Elohim, okay? Haemet, lo sheke daber, okay? And so, as Eleazar, Eleka, and Ben Dorewa, and Adam, Saro David, Adam Dina, Malek, Mashiach, Yeshayel, Migdo Yeshuot, Mi Moresha, Bashamaya, from the heads of the heads of heaven, Melek Yechesika, Yechashafat, Amar, and Kehit Habar Har Haberka in Shekets, okay? Sheket Hit Hit Harber in Hit Harberka in Im Ahaz Ahaziah Ahaziahu, meaning they join themselves to false, they join themselves to the false ones, liars. In Parats. Yahova, Yeshua, Ruha Kodesh, Lohini, Ma'ashika. E Y Yisha Beru, On Oniyot, Velo Aseru, Lelaket, El Tarshish, Ma'ona. You can't go because you're liars. And everybody, everybody who's lying, they can't go because they're liars. Why? I don't know. I don't know why they want to lie because they lack attention, but this is the prophecy of my God who helps you. I am a son of beloved David. I am I am a seed of David. I am from the head of the heads of heaven. I am king of judgment from the Jehovah. I am king to strengthen the people. Because he says this, live news, debarim dibre hayamim, biyom, zehayom. Shabbat Shalom? No. Yeah? For Israel, Araba, Harminia, Shabbat Shalom, Ashlam Aleikum, Berakal Yon, Shalom Yeshua. And Sheker is, is Ra'adabar. It's a bad thing for them because they're not in the faith. They ally themselves with themselves. Yehovah is going to destroy all the works. All the works because. They plan to build their own ships, and they refuse. They refuse in Sur Mini, in Tebasir Aka Yeshua Kadashim Sarakim, be Adam Sadik Sadik be Dod, Adam Noah Kadomi and Adam Noah Duran. Okay, they don't acknowledge me. They're people, and they don't acknowledge me. They don't come to the Ark. They don't come to the Noah's Ark of Adam Duran to save. They build their own, their own works. Jehovah says, will not work. It's going to go down. God says, and for all those coughing on the couch, and for everyone, every person, old, every very, every, every one of these people making noises out here, leading the masses and populations in the wrong way, all the conspirators of the secrecy, you're not going to make it. Your way, your way goes down. Your works will be destroyed. You don't have an ark. There's no spaceships coming for you. Okay, and no liar. There's no liar that can enter into God's presence. False gods cannot go. False prophets can't go. 
fake Jesus can go. I mean, you guys understand, right? You guys understand false prophets, coffers on the couch. They can't go. They're liars. And false, fake Jesuses, of course you can't go to Jesus because you're a fake Jesus. False gods can't go to God because you're a false god. False prophets can't go because they told lies. They didn't. So you know who can't go, right? You guys understand why? Because of lies. Therefore, their works will be destroyed. They have no ships to honeymoon. And they will not be able to go, these people. Because they're liars. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, we'll stop it right here, I guess. And um, it says 135 minutes. I think that's 60, 60 is 120. I think that's 2 hours and 15 minutes, I think. Uh, so, let me see what else. Uh, we were at, um, in, uh, Wyomeru, Lo Nukal, and I ain't the Lek Kadashin Ganet, Adam Duran, Melek Kadam Yakob, Edarim, Anshed, Ye Asepu, Asaf, Ko Edarim, We Galelu, Eben, Mi RP, Be'er Yeshua Moshiach, Marim Chaim, Lechem Chaim, Mi Bashro, Shafak, Ko Hasson, and it says and they were not able to feed the flocks they are not able to feed the flocks none of those guys in the beast only Adam did not feed them I have access I have access to the words of God and they probably censor this they probably block it and they try to like preach it I don't know what's going on but I do my best I send I send the word of God and prophecy out into the world and um, they're not able to do it until Adam Duran came, he is the gatherer Adam Asaf Duran of his flocks. Adarim Adam Duran. God gave you the sign, and God gave you the sign of the eclipse. And God gave you the sign of the eclipse. Um, it says the three eclipses in America gave you. The sign of Jonah. Luke 11, he told you who was Malek Shalom. He told you who was Malek Shalom. And over Adarim, uh, Adad and his son, the Jewish New Year of the new months, the new year. He gave you the sign already. He already told you it's Adam Duran AD, the king, Akim of America, and the earth of Israel. He already gave you the three days of darkness, the signs of Jonah. Uh, Adam Migdol Yonah, Migdol Shalomo, Adam Melech Adonai, Darom Shalom Yeshua. And he gave you three days of darkness, August 21st, 2017. And October 14th, last year. And 2023, and this year, April 8th, 2024. Adar, on the new year. Okay, so it was on the Jewish New Year from Adar. Okay, so there's an AD over America. The flag of Israel is an AD. The seed is the hexagon in the middle. Saddle Dawid, 2 Samuel 22, 51. Okay. They're not able to feed the flocks until I got here. To open the well of Yeshua, the waters of life. And the body, the bread of life. And to do the covenant. The whole covenant, the blood of Jesus, Adam, Moshe, Acharon, Duran, and I am a priest. I am Aaron, the priest, Acharon, the last Adam, no ten ruach haya. And First Corinthians fifteen forty five, I'm the last Adam, the life giving spirit. God told me to do this by command. I'm not glorifying myself, and glorify Jesus. And Adam Moses puts the blood of Jesus on the doors of every house of God, and makes people into temples. Adam Ezekiel, he take he resurrects the bones in the valley, and he takes the sticks and rules the whole house of Israel. And he makes the covenant in verse 26 of Ezekiel, the whole Ezekiel 37. 1 Corinthians 15.45. Genesis 29. Kadam Yaakov Edarim. He opens the well. He feeds you. He, he's a life-giving spirit. 1 Corinthians 15.45. He's giving you 
he's giving the world I'm doing it I'm doing it for these people not like you guys are good it's it's these people here I'm, I'm trying to rebuke before I stop this video because I'm about to stop this video right now and I'm just rebuking once one more for the liars okay so all uh, right here verse 40 verse 45 First Corinthians fifteen forty five. Shut up, you're rebuked. Uh, so it was written: the first Adam became a living soul. Adam acharon, and achaya. The last Adam, he gives life back. He he snatches them from the beast, right? Which Adam? Cough cough. I don't know who they're talking about, but there's nobody else but me. I know who. I know what God told me to do. And all those in conspirators who are trying to, they're talking about a takeover. Look, they already confessed that I'm the king and they're going to take it over. It's impossible, but you're going to burn in hell for that because you're a blasphemer. There's no takeover. No, you're not Adam Andrew Duran. And God commanded me to do Ezekiel 37 and to do this and Genesis 29 and Genesis 6. And God told me to do all these works. I'm bearing witness. Uh, I'm bearing witness. I don't play with the letters. Okay. God told me to do this, and everyone else going to hell because they're conspirators of a takeover. And that's just the way it is. You're not going to take over. You're not going to take over nothing. Okay. So, um, so they couldn't water them because they don't have access. God doesn't hear sinners, mass murderers, um, witches, warlocks, mass murderers. God does not listen to hypocrites. Hypocrite trappers and snares of the people are forbidden to be king. God does not hear the prayers of sinners. He only hears me or God's people who pray for godly things. Nevertheless, they were not able to do it until Adam Duran came. The gatherer, he gathered the Adonim flocks. Okay. And he rolled open the stone from the well of Yeshua. And the waters of life and burn of life. Oh, we gotta go back to um I gotta go back to Okay, so the eclipse was this year, the A D over America. Well not that one. That was two. Okay. There's a olive top, of course, Yeshua caught not the horns of plowing salvation. This is the horns. I'm plowing salvation, Kadana Yeshua. Who who's anointed by the horns? Oh Okay, so you see A D Ain Delet. Okay. Eyes and doors, holy eyes and doors, Kadashi and Jenners. You see A Darim, Adam Duran, Kadam Yaakov, you saw that. Okay, who's anointed by the horns? Uh, let's go see who's anointed by the horns. Let's go see who has the anointing in the horns. Uh it says Keren Shemenya. Keren Shemenya is, who is it, with Kima, who is it, uh, not yet, but Adamani, Adamani with bright eyes, like Harmenia, he has bright eyes, he's a shepherd of the people, and he takes them from the beast, Adamani, Katanishi, the youngest son of Jesse, is the shepherd with bright eyes, with red hairs, and his daughter has red hairs. Right there, he has the horns of oil and salvation. Adam Mani Katanishi Hotemegeza Yishi Duran Adarim Kadam Yakov Duran. Okay, so you see, so you see that the beast can't save you. Satan will not cast out Satan, demons cannot cast out demons. The beast is not going to save you. They're trying to keep you here. Okay, so that's what they're doing. They're trying to keep you here. Okay. Nevertheless, 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 God gave the sign of Jonah. Three days of darkness. Melech Shalom. Okay. And Melech Shalom, and he comes to Shalom the people. Okay. And when did it happen? And when did this happen? It happened on the new year of Adar to Nisan. Aduran of the flocks, Kadam Yaakov of the flocks, crosses them over to a new calendar, Kolain Dor, 
Call Ayin Dor, he takes the Ayin Delet, Aram Duran, Kandashin Ganer, he takes the Eidarim Flux to Nissan, <gasps> into Honeymoon. Ooh, a new, which is a what? A new calendar of time. <whistles> wow, he takes him into a new calendar. Wow. Adam, Kadam, Yaakov, Eidarim. No one else could feed the flocks. No one else no one else fed the flocks. They cursed them. All they did was Arurim Cholalim. The Goyim Cholalim Arurim curses and profiling um and curses and penetrations and defiling the people. They didn't do no blessing. They didn't say uh Ashalam Alaikum Berakalion Shalom Yeshua. They didn't say that. They say curses. They do curses, right? They dance. They make fun of dead people. They make fun of the dead babies. They mock dead babies. They mock the dead. They mock the dead. We don't do that. That's that's wickedness. Kadam Yaakov, Edarim, Shalash Hasson, Karashim Harminya, Kadomim, and Yishma Araba, Ibrim, and Yishael, Yerushalayim, Ami, and Kadam Yaakov, Edarim, Roy Bison, and Yashku, and Maim Chaim, Lechem Chaim, Min Be'er Yeshua Moshiach. Okay. I give you, and look at the flag, Israel. And look at the flag. Who's on the flag? AD. Adam Duran is the one who did this. But they never admit it. You know why? Because they're Satanists. Because they're Satanists, they're only loyal to each other. Okay, so that's not good. And that's not good. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Um, it's just, there's a lot There's a lot to show you guys. Um, but there's the seed of David. And there's the, and there's the, and there's the eclipse. As you can see. There's an A over America. There's an AD over America. There's an AD on the flag, and the eclipse was on a dot to Nissan Jewish New Year, in April eighth. Okay. And that's a. I think this is a old calendar. Uh. But anyways, um. So what is God saying? Three days of darkness is. Let's go. And let's go to Luke 11, one more. And one more. Let's go to Luke 11, one more. Concerning the Duran, concerning Dadom, the South, concerning the, the, the words, okay? Let's just look at it. So we're talking about three days of darkness, right? Jonah. We're talking about three days of darkness this generation is evil. There's evil people. They seek out their signs. I'm not going to give them no sign except for Adamani Katanishi Chotemi Gezayishi. I give you the twig on the tree. I give you the letters A D Adam Duran. I give you the sign of Jonah. Three days of darkness. Nineveh will judge this generation. It's Ben Adam Yeshua Duran generation. Yonah Migdol Shlomo Migdol Yonah Ben Adam and Ben Adam Dor and and Migdol Yonah. And Melech Adonai Daron Shalom Yeshua Migdol Shlomo Malka Yakima Daron Lemishpat Im Adam Duran Elehem Dor Dorim Reshaim The wicked ones of this generation and we will judge them from the porch Mean Olam Beiti Beit Elohim We're going to judge them from the porch and call Debarai Yiye Debarai 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 and Doberim, Doberim, Reshaim, Rabim, El Elohim. They speak against God, they're blasphemers, and their words will not be. These words will be, I promise you.